All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to make a great podcast intro, both some advice on the audio front as well as if you have a video podcast and you wanna make a cool video intro. Um, that's it. So I started a podcast in 2017, and while other podcasters I talked to told me that it wasn't too late to get into the game, I couldn't help but feel that the ship had sailed. How could I stand out, create something that really represented my work and my attention to detail? As a filmmaker, I chose to bring video into everything that I do. So I picked up a couple great microphones, I film each episode with three cameras, and I spend a lot of time like a lot of time editing down the episodes and breaking them into shorter excerpts and teasers for social media. I knew a big part of the show, at least starting it out, would be creating a dope intro. If I could start it off on the right foot, I think people would understand the kind of quality, hopefully, that I'd be bringing to the show. So it's evolved a bit over time. Uh, here's the first one that I launched with the podcast. It's super short. I filmed it in one day with a Sony A7S II and DJI Mavic drone. So I got the music from YouTube's free library. I cut a few clips to that music, added a color grade, and that was it. Uh, I really wanted to start quick and dirty. Getting started was way more important to me than being perfect. Uh, after I've recorded a handful of episodes and I had a little bit more time to think about it, I wanted to give it a professional look, a more polished feel. I still shot this footage in the kitchen, the same exact location, but I used a red Epic W and LED, an LED light panel, as well as using the so, super slow motion capabilities of the red. I think we shot at like 300 frames a second. Uh, so I could have taken a similar approach, shot with a more modest camera, and it still would have came out great. I don't want you to get discouraged by the fact that I used a pretty expensive camera kit. Um, really, I think what would make the biggest difference on this shoot was the additional time and thought that went into it. Shooting really close, tight shots really helped to um, hide the fact that this was filmed in my kitchen. Uh, it might not have looked as crispy, as great as the red footage, but it definitely uh, would have been a huge step up. This is what the second podcast intro looked like. I was really excited with how this came out and I used it for about seven months without changing it much at all. Uh, I recently did change it as I started to build up my audience and I realized new listeners could benefit from an intro that, well, explained who the hell I am to begin with. So I added a voiceover and I included some behind the scenes footage of me working on various film projects over the years. Uh, this is the latest cut. This is the one that I'm currently using. You're listening to The Ground Up Show, a podcast that inspires creatives to make meaningful content and pursue their passions. My name is Matt Diavella, and I'm a filmmaker best known for the Netflix documentary Minimalism. And I'm sitting down with creators to talk about their process, the lessons they've learned, and how to make an impact. So if you're trying to make a dope podcast intro, here are a couple tips to help you clean things up. One, music is the most important, and it will take some taste to really pick the right one for your show. That's something, unfortunately, I can't give you. Uh, YouTube's free music library is a great place to start. My most recent track was purchased on Pond5 for less than $30, so there's some great options there. I often spend hours looking for music for every project I work on, so be patient. Don't worry if you can't find you know, something within an hour. Uh, the second one would be, think about the length of your podcast intro. There's no special formula, but if you have a micro podcast and it's five to 10 minutes long, 
should probably keep your podcast less than a minute. That would be weird if 10% of your podcast was an intro. Um, of course, if it's over an hour, you can get away with a longer intro. Three, you can cut and splice your music to extend it uh, to really end on the right note. So videos never happen to be the same exact length as the song that you're using. So you're likely going to have to shorten the music um, and you can get creative with it to end on the right note. Here I clip the end of the song with the beginning to make it much shorter, but it also ends on a nice note. When you match up the beat, it's nearly impossible to tell the edit. Number four, use markers to help you add the appropriate pacing to your videos. I used this extra step when I first started out editing and it really helped me a lot. The more experienced you get, the more you can pace out the music with your gut. And keep your shots tight, just like I did with my coffee shots. I was shooting in a kitchen. If you don't have a beautiful studio uh, that you can light up, then that's the best way to do it. Keep your footage really tight and macro, and that often helps. So I hope these tips helped, and you got to see a little bit of my approach to the show. But as you saw, my process evolved. I started very quick. Uh, I just got it up and went. Um, that's... <laughs> That sounds kind of dirty. Um, maybe I should just stop this video. Now. Should I just, should I stop? I should stop the video. This is it, I should just cut. There's nobody behind the camera. I'm just talking to a, a window on the wall. It's just me in the room by myself. Okay.